The Russian campaign against Ukraine is a failure. The current launch of the paradigms of the past, like Finland mostly. The results of losses of every man only can be achieved through um, <coughs> how the world feather past this uh, to the silence. Clones, uh, behind the doors and all that. A country of that size, uh, typically the second superpower, next to the superpower, uh, cannot achieve their cause. It's worse than Afghanistan. And uh, Mr. Gorbachev, uh, God bless his soul, has managed to make a withdrawal because he saw this kind of complications in full honor for Russia and the Soviet Union at the same time. It's not only Russians of ethnic origin dying, it's also Russians of non-ethnic origin dying. Once a Kazakhstan, a Kazakhstan people, Uzbeks, Turkmen people, Kyrgyz and so on. So the magnitude of loss compared to what was well projected um, as uh, against the tyranny of uh, the Soviet Union, Soviet imperialism. I really cannot understand what uh, whatever advice Mr. Putin trying to achieve with this. The man has failed. The man has failed. He is throwing children, 20 year old people, children. There's no more jaw dropping seeing seeing a fine young lady like the one I saw um, in one of these newscasts. She's like 20, 21 years old. 19 or something, crying for her man to return. I do not know whether this lady knows about Afghanistan the way I do, or uh, Vietnam the way we cherish it, in a way. In a way we all do, we're supposed to. I'm really fond of that lady. She's asking for my back, assuming he's alive and well. Much worth of getting back without his pains high alive because someone wants to grow in this grand Kremlin for this that they can keep people alive that way and as soon as this focus is off this man will not survive with a woman who loves him who may spend with him as a relic a living relic 20 years ago, not having a child with him, which is called when nearly praying he dies and killing him. What is the ethics in all of this? What's it with the moral argument? I don't understand. I cannot accept this, and my argument is I cannot understand this. Or my argument is so. Russia has lost their way since 1918. They had a chance by 1960s to improve themselves but after Mr. Stalin gone bye bye. They had a chance as provided the way I see it by 1972 when instead of occupying Vietnam, Vietnam was withdrawn. 
and they try to make the same thing, which is, seems to be like Iraq in 2003. And when it comes to Ukraine, Shah having did a basis of arguing, on arguing that, um, that, he, that someone tried to do the same thing with Iraq, Mr. Putin, Mr. Zoom, Mr. Putin did call the Shah. I disagree, Mr. Putin is, is get, calling all the Shah. Is giving the orders. Mr. Putin is greatly awakened after this fiesta. A fiasco, military in every way, in a full scale war. Russia, unless they had their pure 6,000 weapons as well gathered from 1990 all the way to 2000, would be nothing. So whatever faction called the Shah on Ukraine should be aware of this. And they better have 6,000 weapons, so called, nuclear or the one working because nothing else seems to be working apart from scandals, apart from uh, ruffians, apart from whores, apart from one starring men who know nothing of news representing their own country. And perhaps they see when they see the change a way to get to the West. And West, West is ours, that's a difficult question. Russia is collapsing in that sense. And Russia, in order to maintain its house to keep Whatever stands as Eastern Ukraine, provide an armistice indefinite and see how to normalize finally, if ever, if ever, since, 19, since 1918 AD, relations with the Western civilization as we all know it. And they better now or never, do they want to Asianize themselves? as part of uh, China, if they saw hardly an access and uh, for the Arabs to say that they have some kind of access to the Arctic and to the endless and vast resources of Siberia, so be it. You own nothing. You own nothing. You're nothing more than people who sharp power a long time ago. And I hope you're doing this for your kids at best because I do not think you're fighting for your country in any way. You're not fighting for any values, whatever they are called Russian values, as they're coming from the Russian nation, or Soviet values, as the Soviet values were supposed to outrage Russian values. You represent nothing. And you should be talking and acting in Russian patriots in order to bring people who care about this country and finally find someone who really wants to talk, not retreat his tail among his legs, but talk and listen and see how can get this through and finally not destabilize the entire situation.